Okay, going hot. Well, I gotta switch the point of aim, but let's go take a look at the bore. Yeah, can't tell from the camera, but maybe I'll take a still of the after. You know, focus. Hard to say, but um, with my bare eyes, I mean, there's no more fouling than usual but yeah looks all right all right here's the before shot of my bore of my smith and wesson sigma 40 cal I'll load her up with the blue bullets Hit on the last one. Let's go take a look at the uh, the bore. I just slide in a uh, a still here. All right, here's the inside of my sub two thousand, and so far I'm not seeing any significant fouling. This is a before. It's a little dirty. Just to give you a before picture of me uh, before I run some powder coated bullets to it. So let's run some powder coated bullets to it and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to try the uh, powder coated bullets in this Estes group. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, doesn't seem like it's any worse than just shooting straight lead. So that last one might have been just straight lead. I run a mag of nothing but powder coat through there in my smaller mag. And we'll see what happens. Well, anyway, the uh, Estes Group mag works pretty good. Didn't have any issues with it, so... I've got 10 rounds, 10 rounds of the powder coat in there, and we'll take a look at the, the barrel afterwards, see, see if there's any worse fouling or no difference. Yep, that's it. All right. Check the fouling. Yeah. Through the camera, I mean, yeah, it's it's dirty, but no dirtier than what I've experienced with um, straight lead. But it cycles, and it's accurate for what it is. So I would say. Actually, with my naked eye, it looks no worse than it was before I shot. So, yeah, there you go, Tony. Powder-coated bullets are good for target loads. Okay, I got my M&P shield here. I got the uh, powder-coated bullets in there. And I'm just going to see where I'm hitting based on my point of aim. So that's seven yards. 
right chair. And it's hitting center mass. A little bit low. Center mass. So not bad. Not bad at all. Try it again. There you go, center mass. Didn't go into battery. And same aim point. So, yeah. And that's it. Works good, lasts a long time. I'm impressed. Just uh, might have to size them twice just to make sure they uh, it goes in the battery. But for range ammo, I'm good with it. Okay, I got my 1911. These bad boys in there. Let's go to town. All right, I've never done this before with my carry gun. So, got my holster. So, I'm going to practice the draw. I'm not great. I'm not even good. Not a, I'm not even bad. <laughs> so, uh, let's see how well I do. I'm just going to see if I get hit one. I'm going to try to hit the center one. All right. For you, Bobby Brown. Beginner's luck. Beep. 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 Gotta reload. All right, I'm gonna close it out with the 50 AE. Powder coated bullets, works just fine. Okay, another successful day at the range. Any day at the range is a successful day. So we're gonna celebrate with some cosmic brownies. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 And the top of that French cake. Mm. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye.